Hi guys, welcome to Dental Woman. Myself, Dr. Hilary. I'm currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, Crown and Rich, and also a part-time YouTuber. Those who are, uh, you know, already part of this channel, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm putting up this video after so long, but I was very much caught up into my uh, academics and uh, MDS activities that I was not able to create any video. But yes, finally here we are, and today I'm gonna share my views on what is the difference between uh, PG diploma and pursuing MDS. So recently many interns from my college were coming to me and asking me that, you know, ma'am, why you are doing MDS? Why you didn't do implantology course of a year or, you know, why didn't you go for uh, those short clinical courses which were related to prosto, which were related to, uh, you know, other uh, aspect of dentistry like aesthetic dentistry, like conservative dentistry, laser. So there are a lot of uh, clinical diploma courses which are available right now, which are six months which are of one year okay and uh, the main difference or you know why someone would think about doing pg diploma courses that if you are doing mds in india it requires a lot of investment okay so government seats are there but it is very less and the competition is very high so if you get clinical mds seat into a private college or maybe into a deemed university then you have to be ready with at least 30 lakhs or more for your three years of uh, MDS, right? So instead, these clinical courses are of shorter duration, six months or a year. And, uh, you know, you are learning basically the same things. Then what is the difference? So there is a dilemma between, uh, you know, uh, between uh, the doing diploma courses and doing MDS. And uh, today I'm going to share my views into it because I am on the verge of completing my MDS last six months are there and now i know i i can see the clear picture i can see the difference and uh, the pros as well as the cons of both these courses okay so get ready for uh, this uh, informative video don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video it will really help me it will really motivate me to create more such videos so now any further ado let's get started so first of all, I'll give you a brief about this PG diploma course if you don't know. Okay, I'm not talking about those three days, five days, seven days workshops or, you know, uh, there are courses which are running on the basis of modules. Like first module will teach you theory, second module will give you hands-on, third module will give you hands-on on some advanced techniques. I'm not talking about these courses, okay? It is not meant for us. It is not meant for graduate students, okay? Such courses are meant for clinicians who are practicing for, you know, let's say five years, 10 years, and now they, they are good with their skills. They just want to learn some new skill. And, uh, you know, they are well aware of the basics and they just need to know that what actually they want to, they should do on a patient. Okay. So we are not talking about those courses. We are talking about PG diploma courses, which are of six months or a year or two. Okay. And um, many universities, basically the deemed universities are offering such courses in the branch of aesthetic dentistry, in prosthetic dentistry, in conservative, in laser, in implantology. Okay. So there are many clinical courses which are there after BDS. Okay. And uh, uh, the other part is MDS, which I don't need to explain it to you. It is a three year program and it is a thoroughly planned like in MDS. So the first difference I would like to make it here is in MDS, you read the theory you have a lot of academic burden okay which is like presenting seminars presenting journal clubs presenting on uh, different platforms on national level conferences and uh, conventions and everything all this is mandatory as a pg as a postgraduate student then apart from this you have to contribute something in uh, by doing some research okay so you have to make a small uh, i would say that research on one particular topic okay or uh, present it in a form of thesis and the other criteria is that there is this library dissertation okay which is you know basically you are reviewing one small topic so all these things are there you need to do certain publications okay so all these things are mandatory in pg so what i'm trying to say is that when you go for mds or when you are signing up for mds you should know that three years are going to be very hectic okay whatever clinical branch you take and in that you have to you know you are trained in that particular way that you know in depth 
of your subject whether it is perio conservative oral surgery prosto whatever it is okay on the other hand pg diploma courses are of short duration 6 months to a year you study only the things which are important or relevant clinically theory of those those parts okay and mainly you focus on doing patients okay but before choosing mds or clinical diploma courses you should know that where you will be practicing okay there is no meaning of doing implant if the area where you will be practicing those people are never going to ready to pay 25000 or 30000 for uh, a single tooth okay they are just uh, ready for bridge or crown so in such situations you will the skills which you will learn okay by paying so much will be of no use so you should know that where you will be practicing and you know what age of people will be coming to your clinic more often what are the need of uh, the patients which are coming to you and accordingly you sign up for clinical diploma courses okay so if you have decided that you want to excel academically into you know whichever field of dentistry and you are very much sure that yes i i love this subject and i want to know more about it i'm ready to contribute my 3 years plus the uh, amount of money which requires to pursue mds then surely you should go for mds but you are somewhere confused between mds you you don't have that much capital to invest for mds plus you don't have that much a good rank okay then what you should do is you should uh, you know join some clinic nearby or maybe start your own clinic if that is possible okay practice for 6 months a year okay and try to understand that how how is the a uh, patient flow in your area what are their demands okay and what skills if you will learn it will excel your practice okay whether it is full mouth or implants or laser whatever it is just try to know that what is there in demand okay and accordingly you pursue that particular skill so it will benefit you in the long run as well okay and one more advice from my side is that wherever you are pursuing such pg diploma courses okay just keep this thing very much straight in your mind that those courses will help you to flourish your clinical practice okay if you are aiming to go dive deep into that subject mds is a better option than to go for a clinical diploma and wherever you go whichever institute you choose make sure that you are getting sufficient patient to practice whatever skill uh, you are planning to learn okay and you are getting the certification which is uh, recognized by dci okay our dental council of india and it is of at least 6 months to 1 year duration okay because this is what is required doing 2 weeks 3 weeks of courses in implantology is not at all enough okay we are not here to just do the cases or you know uh, place the implant but the failures which come with it okay the errors which might occur during the procedure you should be you should be able to manage those errors and failures as well okay so make sure that whatever decision you take you are giving enough time and enough thought process before choosing or before you know paying the fees either it is for mds or it is for pg diploma i hope this video has helped you to make your decision if you have any queries any doubts related to this or related to your career in dentistry feel free to write it down in the comment section below you can also email me you can join me on instagram i'm very much active there i share my cases i share my pg life and a lot of you know seminars and uh, the webinars which i conduct online you can be part of it so that's that's all for this video thanks for watching guys see you in the next video